you don't know the festival if you're asked uh, why we come back. If you've been here for one time, you will come back. You have to come back. We are some of the OG Raduno uh, attendees because we've been attending since 2016, which was the very first one. Siamo venuti al Punk Rock Raduno più di una volta, ci piace tantissimo, è un evento che adoriamo e finalmente quest'anno abbiamo avuto l'onore di poter partecipare. I don't think we will ever stop coming, I don't think anything could stop us coming here, we expect to be coming here for the rest of our lives. We've had to change our flights, we've had our flights cancelled by Ryanair, we've had to fly from different cities, we've had to stay in quarantine hotels to get here, so I don't think anything could stop us coming to Punk Rock Raduno. So what is special about Punk Rock Raduno? I would say um, it, it feels organic and it feels like something that happened naturally from a bunch of friends getting together and talking. I believe uh, it was uh, 2016 and me and Franz were in London uh, for a Weezer show and we started talking about this festival. Uh, his initial idea was to have a, a festival for my own record label, Striped Records, but uh, after uh, a couple of beers, <laughs> we, en we ended up deciding that we were going to do an event where every label of our scene, every, ba every band and every uh, supporter of the scene will feel at home. So we decided to call it Raduno, just because uh, we wanted to be a gathering of the whole scene. I, I think everybody who liked the Ramones were, were, was looking for people like themselves. They, they were normally outsiders, but they wanted to fit in somewhere, but they didn't fit in in the place that they were born, let's say. Noi ogni volta che ci troviamo in questo posto ci sono sempre un sacco di persone fantastiche, tutti, diciamo quasi tutti amici, persone che si divertono e che sono qua per tutti lo stesso motivo, ovvero la musica. Diventa tutto una sorta di famiglia, è molto bello, ci diverte. It's a lot of like-minded people, but a lot of open-minded, like-minded people who are here to have fun in the summer, love music, and who, uh, yeah, just I don't know, it feels like our people, you know? There's so many things that are really special about Raduno, like the sense of community, um, everything is really organized. Il fatto che non ci siano barriere davanti al palco, il fatto che chiunque voglia dare una mano può farlo, e che questa cosa succeda. Good music, good bands. I think you get, you get both here. You get fantastic bands, exciting bands. You got a good sound always come here, you get a beer, you meet all your friends. It's just so great. The bands are great. Uh, some of the, easily, some of the best shows I've ever been at. They've been here and it's home. So you literally, you know, you cannot beat that. Yeah. For us anyway, but a lot of people from all over, they come here and you can kind of feel that they're just, you know, enjoying it. Secondo me, lo spirito di comunità è veramente quello che lo differenzia. È veramente un raduno di persone da tutto il mondo. Rispetto anche agli altri festival italiani, come si nota subito, attira un pubblico veramente internazionale. It gives you a lot of pride in the town, I guess, oh, yeah. because it was not really an international city before, and no. it is more international now because of Raduno, for no. sure. Why people come to Pankokoto every year from, from <laughs> Japan? From a, I, don't I, know. I don't know. We I, can't stop them. Yeah. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> the really nice memory is that Franz um, calls us, um, he calls my friends, me and my friends, the Brazilian delegation, because we were always at the left side of the stage. There was like 15 people from Brazil. And that was amazing. And we came all together this year again. The truth is we, we won't kept this as a secret. It's like uh, uh, if you uh, found a, a beach where nobody is and just you and me, and that was your first uh, appearance here in, in 2017, so only Yvonne only and me yes. uh, from Hamburg. 
the second time we were here in 2018, we were eight. Yes. And it's getting more every, every year. year. The, the, the so our group is huge and huge and huge, uh, grows up. And now we are, I think, over 35 people from Hamburg, Kiel, Berlin. Most of them come, come back. It's, yeah. um, in, in five years, maybe 100 people no. from Hamburg. I'm not sure <laughs> if, if you're glad about it. <laughs> oh, no, I, ha I have to beat them now. I have to bring a crew, a whole crew, <laughs> a football team. It's not enough. <laughs> and that's our only promotion, you, you know, is the word of mouth. Like, yeah. You know, people's satisfaction is our biggest promotion. <laughs> I really believe the rock and roll and punk history is connected with uh, small towns. You know, it's a, it's a history of uh, outcast, it's a history of uh, the wrong place at the wrong time. So uh, I think it could be Bergamo, could be any small town. It's just because I'm from Bergamo and it happened that, you know, I work at Edoné. Uh, Edoné was perfect, a perfect location. Forse io do un po' per scontato lo spazio Edoné, nel senso che io sono cresciuta lì dentro, sono, sono nata a due passi da, da quel posto, l'ho visto proprio costruire e effettivamente per le persone che vengono da fuori è, è una cosa nuova, è un parco naturale dove le persone sono libere di essere chi vogliono, libere di mangiare quello che vogliono, di raccontarsi quello che vogliono e quindi secondo me molto importante è lo spazio, cioè e anche effettivamente la, la città di Bergamo uh, è una novità uh, per, per questi incontri. I think it's the place to be and I think it, it really doesn't matter who's playing. I think people are open to whoever's here. Yeah, it feels like a pretty awesome grassroots uh, effort and what a beautiful place to do this and I mean in 24 hours we've seen friends from all over the world and you know great people all coming together for a you know super fun weekend. I feel at home because there's lots of people from um, the whole world getting together to see these bands, these bands that I've never imagined in my life that I would see them. It's fucking amazing. It's, it's impossible to capture most things, but I think Ludovica manages yeah. to capture this festival and the videos as well that are produced. The, the video with the two yeah. songs, the two Punk Rock Reduno songs. Edinay. We show that to everybody, the Edenae. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the Edenae. We show that to everybody and say, look at this, this is where we go. And you know, yeah. just this is what it's really like. And the photographs are just the same. Yeah. They really capture, not just, they don't just manage the technical magic of capturing people having an amazing time in the dark at a festival. Festival, but they capture the spirit of what this place is really about. La cosa bella di fotografare al punk rock raduno, sinceramente, è che tutti colorati, sono tutti emozionati e sono tutti innamorati, quindi io devo semplicemente scattare. È questa la facilità eh, che, che mi avvicina un po' a proprio tutto, a tutto il mondo del punk rock raduno e che mi rende il lavoro molto più facile, molto più sereno e soprattutto molto, molto più spontaneo, che è una delle caratteristiche che ritrovo nelle mie fotografie, ma che ritrovo anche proprio nell'atmosfera punk rock raduno. I soggetti che tendo a fotografare non hanno paura di emozionarsi, cioè anche davanti alla fotocamera si sentono sereni, leggeri, non, non hanno timore dell'obiettivo, e sono contenta di riuscire a mettere magari a, a proprio agio delle, delle persone che tra l'altro vengono, vengono da, da altri posti, da altri luoghi, da altre città e, e sono felice che loro riescano proprio a cioè, raccontarmi tutta la, la felicità e tutte le emozioni che, che provano all'interno di questi giorni perché capisco davvero che Um, con lo scatto riesco a regalare a, a queste persone il ricordo di quello che hanno provato e mi fanno capire che um, lo scatto è importante, cioè se lo portano proprio dietro, se lo, eh, lo tengono stretto a, a, a loro nel ricordo di questa esperienza. For us it's like right from the beginning the photography was very important. Um, at home, we, we've actually created all photo books, so we don't just have them on um, digital. An iPhone. Or... Yeah, we, we've like downloaded those photos and created all sort of like albums of this festival. So we and, and we have pictures of Seren and Grace right from being four years old, four years old, right up to now, which we've t which 
the photographers here have taken and yeah, we, we've created old albums and we have like a yearly album of the, the photography from this festival. In my opinion, it's the best punk festival in Europe. Um, punk in the, in the original sense of it. I think punk rock means community and it also means um, at the same time being able to be yourself in that community. Per qualcuno può essere la musica, per qualcuno può essere uno stile di vita, per qualcuno può essere una comunità. Esatto, può essere una comunità, può essere tutto queste cose insieme e secondo me la cosa bella del punk è questo, nel senso che c'è libertà, sempre nel rispetto degli altri perché è la cosa più importante. È un genere musicale che mi permette di riflettere, di entrare un pochino più in contatto con quello che ho dentro, di eh, capirmi un po' meglio e di capire che non sono da sola. What I like about it is that everybody is kind of welcome to the party. I think the idea of punk rock is great because everyone can have his own, uh, you know, take or idea and why punk rock is important. And to me is is about is connecting about giving strength to people as a really uh, afraid guy, you know, when I was afraid of everything, you know, punk gave me, you know, he told me you can do it and at the same time you're not alone. You know, that, that's the biggest message I got. Like, you know, when I was listening to records and stuff, like the feeling I got is like, never mind if you feel lonely or afraid, you are not alone. You know, so someone else is passing through this and you can do whatever you want. Punk rock is my best friend. I always have to, it's my therapy. I always have to come back and um, listen to it and remember of who I am. Punk rock, for me, it's uh, helping each other, it's, uh, it's connecting, it's talking, it's having fun, it's uh, no racism, no fascism, no homophobia, all these things. To me, I think Punk Rock Reduno is kind of groundbreaking in not just music or not just arts and culture, but as soon as we got here, that slogan was everything that Punk Rock Reduno stood for, and it's really meaningful. They really mean it. <laughs> they really put it into practice here, and it just it just makes it so welcoming. It's just part of why the festival exists because everybody is welcome, and there's no possibility of any violence or any aggression or anything like that because of that slogan. It's it's just everything about the festival. So I think, and nowhere else has really done that. Nowhere else is really stood up and said, this is really what we stand for and we won't accept you unless you agree with this inclusivity. È fondamentale che in un ambiente come questo, in una scena come questa, tutte le persone abbiano gli stessi diritti, le stesse possibilità. Bisogna ribadirlo, ma bisogna anche farlo nostro, perché se noi lo diciamo vuol dire che noi lo rappresentiamo e se non lo rappresentiamo c'è un problema. È uno slogan e sono una serie di valori che sono diventati mh, davvero mh, stampabili nelle menti di tutti, nel senso che anche lo sticker è famosissimo, io quando lo vedo sulle macchine, perché mi capita spesso, mi emoziono un po' perché significa proprio portare un messaggio. Quindi questo secondo me è, è la cosa più importante eh, legata ehm, ai valori in sé, che sono importanti ma eh, secondo me è fondamentale sottolineare il fatto che noi stiamo mandando proprio questo messaggio. We actually stole it, this. <laughs> we didn't invent anything, we just steal stuff. This was a sort of the slogan of this uh, youth center and a very important punk rock place in the 90s, which was uh, Gilman Street in uh, Berkeley, California. Yeah, so... that was a sign that was on uh, Gilman Street. We printed this, the first version as a tribute yeah. to that. Yeah. Uh, because these are, these are our values as well. Yeah. You'd hope that today in 2023 these things would be taken for granted, but unfortunately they're not. So you need to state them and you need to say them out loud and you need for people to talk about it. Um, and I think that's also what punk rock is. It's just, you know, sticking your neck out for the issues that matter. Oh yeah. It's about having an, an healthy scene. Nobody wants to hang out with an asshole being, you know, rude or racist or unrespectful, it just sucks. I feel that those values are here and I think it's important, um, you know, because I think everyone needs to feel that they're welcome. And I think it's also important because we all have kids and we don't know what they're gonna be, you know, into or who they are yet. They don't know who they are, you know, and, or maybe they do. And I guess and, we're speaking yeah. to other kids, Yeah, you yeah. know. 
And we have, I guess, a platform, and I think it's an important one for us, absolutely. When we had our daughter, we thought we wanted to go to festivals still, but we didn't really want to camp with her. So we were looking for somewhere to go that was a bit exciting. And we thought, I'm sure they talked about having a festival in Italy. So we just looked it up and it happened to be the first year of Punk Rock Reduno. So we thought, well, let's just try it. Let's ask if we can bring our daughter to Punk Rock Reduno. They said, yes, it's family friendly. You're very welcome to bring her. So we thought, let's give it a go. And um, we had an amazing time at the festival and Seren, ran around and felt free and she met Grace who is now her best friend and Grace is from Bergamo and they spend as much time as they can together every time that they're here. So if you look at what has been built around Punk Rock Reduno over the years, it started from scratch, it's a free festival, it's self-funded and still they were able to create something that everybody looks forward to. If you ask any of these guys behind us, anybody will tell you this is the most amazing time of the year. Some people have counters on their calendar, counting down the days to Raduno. So I think, you know, it's love, I think, permeates what's going on in these, in these days uh, over, over here. I think love in the purest form. Like the love of, you know, I, what I think about is the the look of the people watching their band or the, the look of the band watching the, the, the crowd or, you know, just friends like yesterday night, like hugging, you know, I, I, because I really feel love for these people, you know, beside the, the romantic love, but I, I really would like to see them every day in my life, you know, so this is the perfect week because, you know, you, it would be like the perfect city or the perfect village because you have everyone you like around you. It's pure joy. Here in this place, you can find lots of kinds of love in everywhere, not just romantic love, you know. You just have friends and people taking care of each other and laughing and chatting and introducing um, another people and other bands for each other. That's, this is love and this is what punk rock's about, you know. People taking care of each other and really worrying about each other. The first thing that comes uh, uh, up to my mind, uh, talking about love and punk rock aduno, is that the festival itself started booking uh, a Canadian band named Chix Digit, and uh, we could book them uh, and afford them because they were also playing a surprise set at the wedding of one of our friends. Uh, we um, worked in the shadows without Christian ever knowing what was going on. So we bought matching outfits at H&M, and then we had to hide in these bushes um, so the, the groom wouldn't see us, because I guess it was a surprise for him. And then we were sitting in these bushes, and it was like 800 degrees out, and like the nice outfits looked like our old shitty outfits by the time we got out to play. But it was really great. He was surprised, and, and the rest of the wedding guests were puzzled. Or whatever, but everybody had a good time. I think it was really super fun. So I turn around and I see Chicks Dig It and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Which is actually literally what I think I said. And uh, yeah, it was just great. It's such a great memory. Those guys are such a great dudes. And uh, back home, the Canadian media picked that up. Actually, yeah, it became like a story. It became a story. Yeah. And so now Chicks Dig It is a... Uh, uh, continually nominated for best wedding band in yeah, Calgary. Yeah, we, we won. Yeah, we won West best wedding band <laughs> last year. Yeah. So I guess that's like kind of like Reduno, or the periphery of Reduno has, uh, you know. Yeah. See, <laughs> ripple effect. We're a wedding band now. <laughs> it's a bit cheesy, but it it, do, it does have a special place in my heart. Forse non si nota, forse non emerge, ma il punk rock Reduno è fatto da tantissime persone. Una famiglia a cui eh, non potremmo mai rinunciare per questo festival. Quindi, grazie. Well, we'd love to say thank you to Franz and Andrea um, for eight years of this fantastic festival and this fantastic city, Bergamo, that we, we didn't even know about until this festival happened. I think a lot of people found this kind of music maybe to look for a place where they would be accepted. And I think this is you know, in the world right now, like one of the, you know, there's a beacon in the sky above Bergamo saying, you know, come. <laughs> and music you can find yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Not even so good music as 
at Bergamo's Raduno, but this is a special thing. And it's a spirit. At this festival, you can feel it. Thank you.